It's it's gotten dark, hasn't it? We've been talking a long time. We've been sitting here. In fact, I think the kitchen's closed. The kitchen is closed. Steve Perry had to stop to find out what was left standing after um, a very large circus ride. Someone to hold on. Right now, I am a culmination of everything that's happened to me to this point, and I'm just trying to take that with me. I will say that I feel more and more comfortable with these new songs than I've felt in a long time. Because I really didn't have a lot to say for seven years. I didn't just make a record because, oh, time to turn the crank, you know? I had nothing to say, you know? I was dry. I don't feel dry anymore. been involved in making a record that uh, I was really concerned about comparisons. Every record is, is unique unto itself. The only thing I can do is follow my heart and literally do the best I can to pour the emotion to each song. say something you know musically in a way I've never said it before and I think that this record is the is the beginning edge of that When I left the group Journey, I truly had job burnout. Journey was together for nine and a half years, almost ten years, and, and we toured hard. We had uh, faith and, and, and power in our hearts for what we loved. And uh, we accomplished so much and so much more than we ever thought we would. Being in that band uh, with a bunch of guys that had a mission that I can only compare it to the camaraderie that comes from people who go to war together. There was only one year period where I did a solo album, Street Talk. No, if I made you feel that I should have been gone After all your words of steel Street Talk took six months and in the final six months we started gearing up for the next one we I could never really explain why I had to jump off the merry-go-round uh, And it's still difficult to explain why to the people that wanted to keep going but i think one of the reasons was i had to do it i think for my life i had to stop i just had to stop for me you know i had to find out if i loved singing because i had worked so hard for so long So the first year and a half was that, and then I started writing songs, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna sing or what I was gonna sing, or 
how I felt about it, and just it slowly but surely started just pulling on me back. Listen to your heart. fell together just from a heart standpoint it really fell together quick it was very collaborative it, it was there's so many songs on the record that were written in a group rehearsal situation because that was the best place to test drive them like a fast car hear the song finished the moment we start doing it. When Paul Taylor or Lincoln Brewster come up with an idea or Moisen we're, we're, we're playing together from like the, the new band I'm in right now. And we start an idea, I hear the direction. Uh, pulling on how it should follow itself and it isn't something that I that I calculate it's just it's just it yeah. I think singing was the was the way I expressed myself, you know. And I think there were times in my life uh, when I was really young. I think it kept me alive. We lost in I think it's a daily, sort of a daily letting go of of some of the things I think I should be, as opposed to the things I am. comfortable to sit behind old beliefs because you don't have to uh, get vulnerable I think there's gratitude in my life I'm just grateful for so many things I have and I'm not talking about cars and houses or anything that equates strange medicine. I'm talking about the things that matter. Precious girl, little pearl. It's been a long time since I've been on tour. And we're talking about that, you know. I'm going on a promotional tour uh, for interviews and such. And when I get back, we're going to start rehearsing to see how it feels. There's a lot of things in my life I had to get honest about. I must keep a piece of my soul uh, because it's within me that I'm honest to myself. I'm just so fortunate to, to be able to sing and express myself in, in a way that other people like to hear. Each song is like a child to me. 
They become my kids. It's so hard to let them go. Once I'm done, they're grown up now, and you know they're going to fall down. They're going to make mistakes out there. People are going to. Some are going to love them. Some are going to hate them. It's out of my hands. Out of my hands.